Hello, my name is Michael Garrick, and this is Popping Culture Movie Reviews. Here with me is my guest, T Lynx. What's up? Uh, he's a comedian, musician, and the best DJ I know. Uh, we're going to be talking about Adam Annabellum. Um, T Lynx picked the movie. Uh, besides um, the core message, which I know we both deal with on a daily basis, uh, was there any other reason why you picked the movie? Um, I think it. It, it resonates with what's going on today. Um, I think the climate that we live in um, is almost like modern day slavery. I think it's just changed um, and morphed into uh, what we consider to be regular life. Um, and so I liked the way the movie, I like what the movie was trying to portray. I would say that. Um, and it's one of those things where I'm, I'm the type of person like, um, there were a lot of people that tried to integrate baseball before Jackie Robinson was actually picked. Um, and it took that in order for Jackie Robinson to be the first to do it. So taking a swing and a miss is not always a bad thing. Um, I think they missed on opportunities in the movie. Yes. But I think the swing was worth it because it kind of gave some insight into what it could have been. Yep. And so I enjoyed watching what it could have been. Okay. Uh, before we start, guys, we're gonna. This is gonna be a spoiler review. Um, this is where we say, uh, in your opinion, do you believe they should watch it? I yeah. I think I think you 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 gain something from watching it. Um, I think you go into it with a, a open mind, and um, you know you you get what you can from it. I mean, now is it going to be the most entertaining movie that you ever see? Probably not. There are going to be times where you don't know what the hell is going on and and why it's going on. And I don't I don't think that they did enough expounding on that premise. I think they spent too much time trying to develop a story that was easily could have easily been understood had they not done some of the beginning parts of it. Um, but I definitely think it's worth watching because um, I think there is something to gain from what it's trying to convey. So, Hey, don't watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm joking. I'm, 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 like, give it a chance. Like, well, don't don't pay to rent it. Like, yeah. don't buy yeah. it. No, like, don't watch buy it. it. Watch it on like Netflix or yeah, Hulu yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. you know, don't 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 spend your money unless it's already on the streaming service. Yeah, I don't buy I don't buy any movies. So they, <laughs> for the most part, I don't pay for a whole lot of movies. Yeah, so. I, oh man, okay. So what did you not like about it? Oh uh, man, the whole thing. <laughs> man. All right, like I said, this is full of spoilers. So from this point on, it's nothing but spoilers, guys. Yeah. Um, I would say that 40 minutes in, when the twist does happen, mm -hmm. it totally makes sense now why nobody has a southern accent. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, okay, this is why everybody sounds normal. Regular, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. for the first 40 minutes when she's uh, uh, just in the field, slave, you know, they don't, mm -hmm. you don't know the twist yet, it's like, Man, this guy sounds like he's from New Jersey. Like, mm -hmm. this is a, is he trying not to act? Like, why is he not? And then uh, it was just so forced and pushed. And, like, it was just so confusing. Like, it didn't tell how, what, you know, not much dialogue that was trying to, like, portray. And then when that twist hit, it was just like, okay, some spiritual stuff. Uh, all right, I'm down. Let's see where this goes. They took a good minute to get here, 40 mm -hmm. minutes. We could have dipped in off the toe in. And then we meet, uh, I think that was Precious. Yes. It, she was a pointless. Man, the whole time I was like, I want this bitch to be the slave. This yeah, bitch, she could have been Being mean slave. to everybody, yeah. like, for no reason. Like, <laughs> yeah, she was, yeah. I, I didn't think that she was initially cast for that role because it didn't fit her. Her personality and her presence did not fit the role of that character. And so it made it more obnoxious for no reason. Um, I think that honestly, I think they could have reversed the twist and it still would have, it would have been just as effective or 
um, more effective. You know, I think they could have started her off as a professional and left her as a professional and then be kidnapped and sent back to slavery. I think they could have done that and it would have been as profound as what they were trying to do. I think trying to force the slavery was the worst thing that they could have done because essentially what it does is it it almost glamorized black trauma. And that's just not a comfortable thing for black people to watch, especially if there's no legitimacy in what you're watching. So you, you, you're you you're at the table. I mean, at, you're sitting down and you're watching and you're just like, like you said, you're looking at these people like, what kind of slavery is this? Are they like, you know, um, you know, this is a new age slavery. And I'm thinking in my mind that there was going to be a twist. So I already kind of knew that I was expecting um, something, but I did not expect that. But when I did get it, like when I got it, I said, okay, I got it now. Um, and so I was like, okay, so this is what it could have been. And I watched the movie based on what it could have been, not necessarily for what it was. Um, I, I didn't I didn't look at it as, and say, you know, hey, this is a terrible movie. I looked at it like, oh, okay, so this is really indicative of what's going on now. Um, and so that that to me is what sparked the interest for the movie for me. But I mean, I know a lot of people that didn't like it. After I explained what my thought process is, they're like, "Well, you should have wrote." <laughs> Bill Tom, I was like, "This is like great value. Get out!" Like, like, like I, I get. Yeah, where, I could see that. Like, I could definitely get where they were going. They it's just like they wouldn't finish cooking it. Nah, nah, they didn't. They, they, they drew out a, a part of it to glamorize what the twist was going to do like they made that the the plot of the movie and it shouldn't have been um the slavery aspect of things is a good twist to find out that it was modern you know modern day but the fact that none of the things that happened in the beginning correlated with what happened afterwards was the fucking dumbest thing ever like that didn't make any sense and that took away i think from moviegoers that needs to be they want they feel the need to be engaged and you couldn't be engaged when you didn't know what the hell was going on and 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 you're trying to connect what happened in the beginning to what happened at the end and you can't because there's no connection there and i think that disconnect is what makes the movie suck but i do like i said i like swing and misses i think that there's a lot that could be told i think somebody's going to look at that and say they failed on an opportunity and they're going to create the movie that it should have been. And so that's why I like it. Um, or I like the, 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 the premise of it. But, um, but yeah, I definitely understand why people didn't like it. My, my, my girlfriend is like, this is some bullshit. This is, you know. Was there any part of the movie where it was meant to be scary, but you just started laughing? The whole movie. I mean, like, I, 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 it yeah. wasn't a horror film to me. No. Like, I didn't see horror written on it. Like, there was nothing horrible about it. Like, uh, yeah, no, it wasn't. It was a lot of horrible film. about it. <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, it was no horror though. Like there was no, no nothing scary about the, it at all. The, the scene that I knew they were trying to make it scary, but like me and my girlfriend just like bust out laughing when she got in the elevator and the little girl got down. Oh, yeah. I was like, I was like this, <laughs> like, <laughs> like this is really like they really like just left like no dialogue, nothing but just like, <laughs> hey, are you lost or something? It was just like no like tension. It was just like. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I'd be scared of a little white girl got on the elevator with me too. I'd be like, oh, all right, all right nope, let me jump off. Uh, but <laughs> uh, it just, uh, yeah, they, they, I, I think the creators of Get Out would have done a marvelous job with it. Yeah, I don't think it was. They just exec, um I believe, um, um, Peel. I think he he, he yeah, executive, he yeah, yeah, he produced executive produced the movie, but it, it was just. <sighs> The, the only thing I hated the most about the movie was the fact that they had so much going for themselves that I truly don't feel like they should have threw a modern twist in. I think slavery is scary by itself. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Like the the throw the modern twist in, it was just like it doesn't. It kind of, I wouldn't say it takes away, you know, from the slavery part, but it definitely doesn't make it as strong anymore. No, yeah, I think uh, yeah, I think that it, it's harder to believe that she was as successful as she was that she would have been able to be in that position and so that didn't make a lot of sense i know for my girlfriend she's just like like if she got that kind of money like there's no reason why somebody wouldn't have found her before like you know and then it just the whole tracking thing with the phone and all of this that like that stuff don't make sense because 
modern technology would have picked a lot of that shit up a long time ago. So that's the stuff that that's just like, okay, you kind of left that out. I love the fact they were like, yeah, friends just got kidnapped. We didn't worry about friends no more. Friends are gone. Friends are her. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 that was weird. And the girl being pregnant, all of those those seemingly um, pointless things. I mean, or the killer, and it's like, okay, well, what's going on? What happened with that part of it? But yeah, I know we're describing something that you guys probably are not going to go see. And Mike really disappointed, you know, the whole entire movie. But. <laughs> I, <laughs> Uh, how do you feel about when they finally like um, not the guy well not not the guy when they they finally she escapes she does all the uh, ballerina stuff to escape from the guy <laughs> <laughs> all the handstands and everything why did they why do you think they were like okay they need to come back like I didn't get that they they could have just went straight one way but they yeah. kept coming back and I was just like why are they keep coming back like and that's funny that you asked that if I'm I didn't really think about that at the ending but now that i think about it it might just be we as a people just always going back to our pain you know um you know it's it's, sometimes we can't allow ourselves to be free and and so even when we're we're giving some level of freedoms i mean we're technically not free now which is why i thought the movie was 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 heading you know, it's like, look, we, we are still enslaved by the white man and we've been kidnapped by our jobs and our titles and all of these things. And they've thrown things at us to make slavery look palatable. Um, but at the end of the day, we're still slaves. And so I think sometimes going back to the place that you hurt the most is a issue for black people just in general. So now that you say that, that would be my take on it. I don't even know if they're that deep, but that's something they could they they miss you know that was a miss that they could have really written into the script um if you want to talk like if you're going to talk about black trauma like you really have to find the solution to how we get a, away from it versus just exploiting it and, yeah and i think the exploitation of it is um what you saw in the movie because it didn't have a lot of um you know, um, remedies to that situation other than her killing the white man and then, but you didn't, didn't you go back, you know? I mean, I could run, like, I, I love seeing slave owners die. Like, yeah. I watched Django, like, a bunch of times oh, yeah, just Django, for that. Yeah. Like, it's no, like, that's, that, I mean, that's, <laughs> if, 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 if that's one part, if you want to watch it for that, it's there. Yeah. Uh, how'd you feel about the kids um, when you found out, like, oh, no, this is present day, mm-hmm. um, I guess these proud boyish kids, or whatever they were supposed to be, that they were, like, really like hey you know not supposed to have cell phones you know like that they know they're here for this reason Mm -hmm. to reenact this horrible acts like like that was a that was the only twist that was the only part of the twist where i was like oh wow like that yeah it shows scary it shows the 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 taught behavior and and something that and growing up where i grew up um it was a segregated town um, I grew up in Somerville, South Carolina. It's a very segregated town, but um, there were things that I had no idea existed until I got a little older. And you know, history was taught a certain way, so you, you know, slavery was just a period in in history. It wasn't the evils that we know it to be now. Um, and so there were kids that were brought up by Confederates. Um, not. I had no idea. Like the the flag didn't mean anything when I was a child. Um, it started meaning things when I got older, and you can see those formerly friends of mine become that version of the person that I had no idea was going to be when they got older. And it was sad to see, and um, it's a taught behavior. And so I think those kids were indicative of understanding what their culture was. It was like they assimilated to what mom and dad were teaching them um and yeah it's sad when it, the younger they are the worse it is like it's horrible to look at yeah and so those kids represented that like at that age you saw the hate already starting to stem from them and you can see it today i see some some kids do that but if you see very young kids play together they don't even see race they don't see um the disease that is racism so yeah. it's sad to see that it's taught 
Yeah, yeah. It, like, you're right because when I grew up in Winsboro, South Carolina, okay. it, it still has still has those racist things up there. Um, I feel like they're doing better, hopefully. Um, but uh, my my recent example was my girlfriend's from Guam, okay. and um, it was like maybe a year and a half ago she wanted to do something we can say i looked on facebook she looked on facebook she's like let's go to gilbert they have a peach Ooh, festival i mean i've been there and i was like no nah, we don't need to go to gilbert but, she, <laughs> but we went her her son her uh, her mom and i was like all right just let you know i'm a concealed carrier so i'm not truly mm. worried i'm not I'm worried but i'm not too worried i have mm. it on me so um we get that first thing she sees is sons of confederates and she was like oh and i was like oh you know oh we here to get ice cream mm-hmm. right <laughs> He wanted to come. We, yeah. And uh, when we were leaving, she had our ice cream. And the guy that was at the stand was like, "Ah, oh, don't throw it in there. Just uh, place it on that napkin." And she was like, "Damn, I couldn't even throw it in the trash." And I was like, "The name of the place is Gilbert, baby. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're in it's Gilbert, named after South Carolina. Don't, man. <laughs> yeah, don't act like. Don't be surprised right now, you, because it was one on the entrance and it was one on the other entrance of the Sunset Fairs." And I was just like, yeah, this is what you wanted to come for. This is what we did. We we had every peach flavor, everything. We had peach flavor ice cream, smoothies. Yeah. Everybody had shit afterwards. I tell you. My girlfriend loves festivals, so she researches festivals to go to. And um, we've been to about every clan festival there possibly is. I'm sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, it's unfortunate, man. Like, and we went to, we've been to the peach festival. We didn't have that experience, but um, she actually went down. She wore a... Um, <laughs> a dress draped in the American flag, and um, I just walked through. I was just like, "This is this is some bullshit." Like, I can't even believe you did this. Like, you don't know the type of you know attention you're gonna get. She's a very attractive girl, so that's number one. It's gonna stick out. You got cowboy boots, a cowboy hat, and uh, American flag dress on. This is going to be interesting. And it definitely was interesting. The looks, the, you know, I didn't get that, but I got some people that were hesitant about serving us. And it was, it was, it was, yeah, it was a mess. And I was like, yeah, we're never coming to this again. Yeah. I, yeah, I was so happy they, they were like, nah. And I was like, I bet not. Yeah. But this is a history lesson the, for you guys. So. Yeah. You don't go no place with, yeah. like you said, Gilbert. If yeah. it's named after an old white man, you don't want to let you I was go. definitely like, I've lived here forever. Why not believe me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, get back to the movie. Um, how do you feel about budget? Like to me, I thought they had a decent budget. Oh yeah, they had definitely had enough to make what they needed to make. I just believe that they fell short. They tried to compress a book into a movie, and and not look at what what the base like. They they could have they could have done so much more with it if they would have just you know lessened the slavery portion to about fifteen minutes. And then they could have time to play out all of the different things that could have led up to the modern day situation. Um, Because that was the most compelling part of the movie, the twist. So if you don't expound on why the twist happened after the twist happened and you're just caught up in the 40 minutes that you saw before and the hour that you spent after that part is just about escaping and her going back and forth into you know the you know remembering things from the, you know that that to me was just a waste of time but yeah they definitely had the budget to do a lot better when you saw robert e lee's statue did you think they shot in south carolina um no i doubt that they did but um i mean i think the plot itself would it would see it would definitely make it seem like it, they were in some place in south carolina yeah when i saw the statue i was like oh maybe they shot this in florence and then when you saw they shot it in louisiana i was like yeah. okay that makes sense with the trees mm-hmm. um i think that budget went out like towards the end of the movie because that movie just ends yeah that like, yeah it just ends it's like you know what we know what we just put out there and, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we got your money yeah it's you know yeah well, you got you got to see janelle monet for a long period of time she's gorgeous she is she's, she's an gorgeous incredibly man. attractive woman yeah was, she is gorgeous i was like man i'm so sad she had to be in this I yeah like, yeah she yeah she got her money she walked away from it she yes. didn't write she's like i ain't write it i just acted yes you know who do you believe gave the strongest performance? Mm. Yeah, that's tough, ain't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, because she was in it so much, you would say Janelle, but there were a few characters that, um, I can't remember the guy's name. Um, 
I would say one, you know, one of the white guys was the he was the most convincing character. He definitely, you the know, the young guy, yeah, the younger that guy. I didn't want to yeah. do anything. Yeah, he 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 was probably the most convincing character. Um, Janelle gave a good performance as best she possibly could with the plot she was given. I think you know, um, but yeah, it was it wasn't a a star filled film where you looked at it and said, oh, these guys are going to be nominated for an Oscar. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no. I didn't no. see that at all. I didn't nah, see that like, at all. If anything, they're going to be get nominated for a Fred. They definitely weren't going to get an Oscar. Nah, no. I'm like, I don't put this on my ID. <laughs> my ID. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I take my name off the cast list. Uh. And see, the reason I picked it, because it was just an interesting movie to me. And so I was like, well, I'll deal with something that I just saw, and it was pretty interesting. And um, yeah, it was definitely not about how good it was. Um, oh no! Once you picked it, I was like, "We, I'm down." You know, I'm always down. I love watching movies that I don't know about, like mm-hmm. or I don't like. It was definitely you pick when you picked it. I was like, "Yeah, I was super excited." I saw it. I was still super excited to talk about it, but I was just like, "Man, this is not good." Because <laughs> I was giving it a chance. I promise you, mm-hmm. it was just that when I saw the twist, I was like, "Oh no, I didn't sit through all this for this." Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, my girlfriend didn't get get it at first because the twist. It was so meaningless because of how long the first part lasted. She was just like, "That's a powerful cell phone, boy." Yeah, it's like, "What the hell? Are you serious right now?" Like, oh, so the the man on the horse got a cell phone? Oh, I mean, that's how it was after everything. After she found out the twist, it was just like, "Oh, really?" So they can't find her now. So now she's gonna put a tracking device on. And I was like. Yeah, pretty much same for my girlfriend. Same thing. Right? <laughs> just like, oh, this is dumb. Like, what the fuck? I mean, I was like, yes. just watch the movie. Just watch. It. Yes. Um, in conclusion, before I get my house, <laughs> do you believe this movie becomes a part of pop culture? No, no, no. I don't believe. I think it was the swing and a miss that I thought about that I said earlier. I think that it will inspire somebody to do do it the right way. Yes. Yes. Uh, um. Thank you so much, man, for doing the movie review with me. Uh, is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? Nope. What's up? Just follow me on Instagram, T-Link27, um, Facebook, T-Link, um, and also Travis T-Link. All right. Thank you so much, man, for coming on to the um, movie review, and you guys have an amazing day.